UWL's Black Student Unity held their annual Reflections of Ebony event this afternoon. And the student union to celebrate is to celebrate the entire BSU team during Black History Month for their efforts on campus. News 8's now Shaquille Davis was there and has more on the story. Good evening, Shaq. Mike, BSU President Alex White tells me that he's seen records of this event that dates back to at least 2001. He says the name of the event derives from the ebony wood since it's dark and rich. He compares it to our skin. Black people in our community, especially in our um, executive team, we are going to be um, no, like noticing uh, like black people on campus, like such as teachers and professors. BSU President Alex White continues to show respect to his professors by saying that they help out a lot during their meetings. During this event, they gave out awards, fed the attendees some soul food, and even got to hear some classic hip hop. Same thing. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Anyways. Attendees even got to hear from a young activist who ventured here all the way from the nation's capital. St. Clair. She is, she has many rewards. She, uh, she's an alumni from Brown University. She's wrote many books about black hair. Uh, there's two books about black hair. My paternal grandfather's name was Sinclair, and my mom really liked the name, uh, but she wanted it to be SD instead of SIN for some reason, and so she named me St. Clair uh, after my paternal grandfather, and then Beatrick is my mom's last name, and Jules is my dad's last name. She's also filmed two movies and says it was her that reached out to UWL first to see if they could accommodate her. When I first reached out, I um, didn't know about the Reflections of Ebony, um, but I, you know, created this photo book a couple years ago, My Beautiful Black Hair, 101 Natural Hair Stories from the Sisterhood, and so I've been going around to college campuses and sharing stories from the book. During these visits, she'll speak out on natural hair movements and self-love. One of my little sisters, Chloe, was bullied for having an afro when she was four years old and became really self-conscious about her hair. She said it was that moment that led her down this journey, but feels that a lot of us in the black community are taught that our natural hair isn't good enough. She also gives the credit to her white mother for making her more aware of racial injustices at a young age. At the time, I was so focused on my grades, but my mom, I mean, she does so much research, so much reading about, you know, the history of this country, and hearing her always talk about all of these injustices sort of made me realize that I, I, I want to try to do something, you know, I want to try to contribute in a way. And St. Clair continues in saying that she feels like she owes her activism to all the African Americans who fought for her to be here. She also told me that the way with her name is spelled, that's very difficult for her to book all these flights. Finally, she's also very excited to be in Wisconsin for the first time. She will actually be headed to Milwaukee soon, but unfortunately, she won't be able to be able to attend a Bucks game. Mike. Shaq, thank you very much. Kill Davis reporting live in studio. Thank you.